Welcome guys in a new video. In this video, I'm going to explain how to start making games. So we have three parts. The first part is what is the first thing to do when starting and how to then how to improve your skills and then when to start making real games. So let's start. What is the first thing to do? Is choosing a tool to work with. So there is Unity, Godot, Unreal, Default, Stride, and an infinite amount of tools or game engines or game framework you can use. If you want to make 3D games, you can use Unity, Godot, Unreal, Stride, maybe Default, but it's really not good for 3D and it's improving. If you want to make really big 3D game with realistic graphics, you can use Unity or Unreal, but Unreal is better for realistic. Godot may be stride, but Godot is really not ready but because it's a bit lacking in performance for big scenes. Now we, you need to learn or watch tutorial or read the documentation about the basics and how the tools work only and also learn some of the syntax. Don't follow a full game tutorial because it will make you lazy. What I mean by that is you will only rely on tutorials and it's not very good and this is what we it's not what we want to do. So then you will need to start test your skills that's what you learn about the basics of the tool just make small games which which will help you improve your skills and also if you're stuck on something you just need to ask on discord or on forums which will help you a lot and also just search on AI we have a lot of AI tools right now and only search for the tutorial if you're stuck on something most of the things you need to do by yourself and what you learned on the basics so now we have another thing which is how to improve your skills which is the second part of this the first thing we already said make small to medium sized game and then we have learn more complex things like math physics and how graphics work learning math and physics every is very important if you want to improve the gameplay of your game and make a uh, more uh, custom things without using the built-in uh, features of the engine like you make making your own physics or making some new better math calculations with better performance and it's very important and learning graph how graphics work is very important if you want to really customize your game uh, and how it looks and uh, add new uh, effects better effects than the built-in one like uh, if you go learning something like SFML to start with is very important I have some tutorials about it and then go with OpenGL which is easier than Vulkan I suggest just stick with OpenGL learn the basics learn how shaders works how graphics work with OpenGL and which uh, it will help you make good effects and make your game look better participating to a game jams uh, to a game jam why uh, participating in game jams is very important because there is limitation and limitation is uh, one of the most important things to master something because you are limited to a theme in in a game jam and you will need to make a small to medium game about this theme you can make any any type of game you like like an rpg or make a runner game but you need to stick to the theme which limits you to us uh, which limit which limits you and helps you improve uh, your game making skills and if you want to make a bigger game you need you will uh, really easily like fix any problem you you have because you already were limited to a lot of things and i really suggest that you participate to any game jams you can participate to because it's you can learn more like in 
every game jump use a different type of game like the first game jump make an RPG the second one make uh, a runner game and every uh, game jump have different theme so next we have release your game for free in a website like itch.io to get feedbacks and improve how you make games releasing your game for free on websites like itch.io will help you improve your game by like listening to feedbacks by the, the by the people who played your game which will help you improve the game and in your next game you will have uh, all the feedbacks that you get in your previous game already included which will uh, which will have better better quality of game and better gameplay which will help you improve your game making skills and also communication skills because you will have to handle how to talk with people that you play your games how to how to handle feedbacks and how to take feedbacks and like add them to your game so the next thing is when to start making real commercial games you need to have some I, I don't know if it's a good or some good understanding game but you need to have a good understanding of game development concepts like coding, math, physics, graphics and shader programming. For coding I really need I really think that you need a good understanding, not some or a little understanding because coding is one of the most important things for game development or you can just use something like visual scripting like blueprint or use a tool like gdevelop or construct or maybe game maker which where where you don't really need uh, coding to make a game for math and physics just some understanding or a little understanding of uh, math and physics in game development which will help you customize your game and have better gameplay like and have better uh, features on your game and better control and which will maybe have better performance and you will make some better games for graphics and shader programming it's a uh, very important or just some important it's just a little important because if you want to make your game look better and if you want to add new effects it's really important to have some shader and graphics programming knowledge uh, for shaders, you can have you can have some a little a little uh, understanding if you use the Unity game engine and you use URP or HDRP, which give you support for shader graph, which is an easier way to make shaders without diving into GLSL or HLSL. But you will need to have an understanding of the variables and types that are already in the shader. A programming language like GLSL. If you have some small marketing and business knowledge, it's very important to market your indie game or in the, for the business knowledge, it will help you manage a team if you are more than one person and also uh, manage the time and the deadlines and also money because you, if you are making a real commercial game, you will need to spend a little money, not too much, but it's really important to know how to manage your money and how to spend it wisely then you need to have good communication skills like i said because having a good communic uh, communication skills will help you like talk with your community and also uh, handle feedbacks and also talk to publishers and maybe talk to streamers and youtubers that will play your games to market it and maybe if you know how to talk with them and communicate with them you can just give them uh, give them the game for free and they play it and maybe without you paying them to play it and you can just have free like free marketing or free, uh, for free ad for your game so this is our video and the first things and the last thing I want to say is thanks for watching and also keep improving your skills on coding, math, game development or anything you want to, to do like web development or cyber security just keep learning learning and having knowledge is like a very important thing so don't forget to like and subscribe 
and maybe share the video to people who want to learn game development and goodbye to another video.